<laughs> okay, so we are in the in the in the apartment of Madame Dubarry. Yes, she, she, she was the last mistress of uh, Lucy Hitchings, and she lived here between 1769 and the death, until the death of the king in 1774. She had a huge apartment, and oui. this apartment is placed uh, or was before the private cabinet of the king. Can we go to the boudoir? Yes, we, we can. The singer came to see her. Yes. She got her his staircase. He arrived here. I'm oh, sorry. When she wanted to see her, he has several possibilities. And one is to join her in this room, which was a library. Okay. But it's very tiny. Why? Uh, I thought it was something on the others. No. <laughs> this, this, this room was a library of Madame de Barry. Okay. But she created, she asked to the creation of what we call in France, this alcohol, this part where, where you have the canopy. And there. during the revolution, all the furniture was sold, right? No, uh, it's uh, the royal furniture was sold. But Madame de Barry was furnished by herself. Ah. I mean, the royal household wasn't didn't supply furniture for. So they didn't take the furniture. No, here? because she she had her own furniture, uh -huh. and when King Louis XV died, she left the court, of course, and she brought her furniture to in his uh, in her chateau, which was Lucienne. Ah, okay. And then the furniture of Madame de Barry, which was in Versailles, after was in Chateau de Lucienne. Let's go to the... There we have, what do we call in French, the enfilade. Oui. The rooms after each other, which are the two first rooms where we are, and the following one where the reception rooms, the salon, I would say. And the next room, the last room, was the bedroom, the bedroom of Madame de Paris. And they were carpets originally, no? Originally carpet, yes. Ah, this is a famous furniture there with a... It's, it's a famous one. Uh, this is a bedroom? It was her bedroom. Yeah. The bed was different. We don't, we don't know where the bed of Madame de Barry, even if it's still existing. And the original bed, it was here, wasn't placed along the wall, as you see today, uh, this one, mm -hmm. uh, which is an, an 18th century piece of furniture, which is similar to what we do in apartments here. And this is a famous piece of furniture. Yes, this one, uh, we know she had dual cabinet like this one, coffre uh, à bijoux, as we say in French, uh, furnished of veneer with porcelain. The original one, the genius one, is today in the Metropolitan Museum in New York. But this one is made by the same cabinet maker with plaque of serif porcelain from the same date. The, the only difference is that the ground here is blue. And the original ground was blue before. And what is uh, Ebenis who did that? The name of the furniture maker is, uh, the Ebenis is um, uh, Martin Carlin. Ah, Carlin. Carlin, but she didn't bought the furniture directly from Carlin. She uh, bought them through a dealer in Facimon uh, Poirier. And what is that? This sculpture uh, is supposed to show Madame du Barry in very uh, special attitude. 